Hello guys, yeah, this is Lava TV, and right beside me have Bambi TV guys. So yeah, we're going to be reacting to uh, emotional sister Priya becomes a Muslim after getting a convincing reply from Dr. Zaki. So yeah, let's get into this guys and give me a reply. There are tears of joy, sister. Would you like to enter the fold? According to me, already a Muslim. Would you like to proclaim it? Yes. Mashallah. Takbir. I hope no one is forcing you, sister. You're doing it out of your own free will. Yes. You have heard my lectures, so surely you may be having a substantial some knowledge of Islam. Yes, sir. Mashallah, sister. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it, sister. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Anna. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Wa rusuluhu. I bear witness. That. There is no God. But Allah. And I, and I bear witness that, that Prophet, Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of Allah. Takbir! 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 MashaAllah, sister, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you janitha for those. And really, you have taken a bold step. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you more. And may he help you because I can make out, MashaAllah, that you have already gained a lot of knowledge. And your questions were very questions of intelligence. And MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more knowledge of the deed. May help you to guide your parents, guide your family members, and guide your friend sister. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings, and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Non-Muslim sister, yes, sister. Mashallah, the ladies in Oman are more brave, strong, courageous. Mashallah, takbir. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Your name. Your profession and your question. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, opening my eyes to how important it is not to follow any What's faith. the name, sister? What's the name, sister? My name is Priya. Priya. Okay, sister. First of all, I would like to thank you for opening my eyes to how important it is to not follow any faith or religion blindly. Mashallah. Now I realize how important it is to have questions to what you should and should not follow blindly. So my question is uh, for why was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only the last prophet and no one after to guide in this sinful world? Sister, that's a very good question. <laughs> that why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger. Why will no other messenger come after him? That's a very good question. People also ask me that why wasn't Prophet Muhammad sent the first and Quran revealed first, then no problem. Both questions are valid. Both are valid. Like my son says that I want to become a doctor. Why don't you put me in medical college directly? I said, no, bro. First you have to go, my son, to the nursery. Junior KG, first standard, second standard, step by step. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, he knows the human being the best. He knows what is the final message. He knows that the human beings have not yet developed to receive the last and final message. So therefore, all the previous messages that came, they gave the basic message of Tawheed, believing in one God. The Quran is the last and final messenger, which is the perfect and the final message. All the other message was perfect, but they were in brief. Like when you go to nursery, you study A, B, C, D, and then you keep on going ahead. Then mathematics, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then you study other things, multiplication, division, and you keep on evolving. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that when human beings were there, first he gave them simple message depending upon the development. And Allah thought 1400 years ago was the right time that now human beings have developed to assimilate the Quran. But the beauty of the Quran is Allah knew that human beings would further develop, but the minimum requirement to receive the Quran was 1400 years ago. Human beings are there 
since hundreds of thousands and millions of years. Allah alam, we don't know. We don't know. So, what did Allah do? Allah reveals the last and final message, the Quran. And the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because when the last message comes, it has a time period. And the last messenger comes, he's the final messenger. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he's revealed the last and final message. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maidah chapter 5 verse number 3, On this day have I completed your religion for you and have chosen Islam for you and have completed my favor for you. Allah is telling the human being, on this day, this was the last verse of the Quran to be revealed, I have completed my religion for you and I have chosen for you Islam. Now once Allah has completed the religion, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted. If something is added, that means the previous thing wasn't complete, correct? Allah, five, ten fingers, if you add eleven, it's not complete. So Allah has completed the deen and completed the last and final revelation, the Quran, by the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Where is this mentioned? As I said in my lecture, Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 40. مَا قَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَهْدِمْ مِرِجَالِكُمْ وَلَاكِ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمِ النَّبِينَ وَقَانَ اللَّهِ بِكُلِّ شَيْنْ عَلِيمًا That Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah and seal of the prophets. Now, why did, now when Allah revealed the last and final message, the human beings keep on developing and we understand the Quran better. Science has developed the way we understand the Quran now. We understand a little bit better of the Quran because science has developed. But the message is the same. Now since the message will not change, we don't require a messenger. So what does Allah do? Allah tells the Muslim, tells the Muslim, it is your duty now to deliver the message. And I said in my talk, Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 110, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat lim nas. Oi Muslims, we are the best of people evolved for mankind. Ta'miruna bil ma'rufi wa tanahuna and munkar. Enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong. And believe in Allah. So because there will be no other messenger, because if a messenger comes, there has to be a message. So the scholars and the da'is, the people with excellent knowledge, and the da'is who deliver the message, they are the torch bearers. They deliver the message to make people understand. Therefore, it is our duty to go in different parts of the world and deliver the message to the whole of humankind. So no one can say that the message did not reach us. Now, once the final message is there, Allah gives a time period. We don't know. There is a time period till when the world will end. We don't know, Allah knows. Only Allah knows when will the world end. But there are signs for the end of the world. In the hadith, there are minor signs and there are major signs. In the minor signs, in my post book faith, I have given 87 minor signs and 10 major signs. In the minor signs, one of the first signs, minor sign for the end of the world is the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's a minor sign. That now the world is going to end. But how long will it take? Allah Allah. 100 years, 200 years, 1000 years, 10,000, we don't know. So that was the first minor sign coming of the last and final messenger. One of the first few signs, earliest sign of the end of the world is the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then there are other many signs. You can go to my Facebook. Then the major signs will start. So the reason Allah did not get a new messenger because Quran is the last and final message. There is no new message, no new messenger. But Allah saw to it that he told the Muslim Ummah that we have to deliver the message to the others. And he said that the best profession for the Muslim is of a dai, which I touched in my talk. So because the Prophet was the last messenger, and sorry, because the Quran was the last message, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the last messenger. And I said in my talk, because he was the last messenger, he was Rahmatullah Alameen. If he was not, he would have been only Rahma to the Arab world. Correct? If he was, if there was one more messenger to come, he would have been meant only for one group of people, maybe the Arab world. Maybe the Quran was meant only for 100 years, 1000 years, 2000, we don't know. So because Allah says this is the last and final revelation, 
and Prophet Muhammad is the last name, final messenger. It is meant for the whole of humanity. That's the reason the status of the Prophet is higher. Because the status is higher and the message is higher, you can see the transformation much faster. Today, in the world, more than 25% of the human population are Muslims. Today in the world, the most looked down upon people in the world are the Muslims. The most targeted people in the world are the Muslims. The most criticized people in the world are the Muslims. Everyone is against us, yet the message is going. It is the end of time, sister. So because it is the end of time, there will be, be no other messenger. But the power of the message is so strong, it is encompassing many people in the world. The previous people who accepted the religion, Christianity, etc., they were just namesake. Today in the world, when people say Christian, they don't follow Christianity. The people that follow any religion, practically following any religion, number one is Islam. So the basic answer, sisters, because the message is last, the messenger has to be last, but the message is so strong and the messenger is so loving, so powerful, so universal that it's transforming the world. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, we have... Uh, Is there um, any other question, sister? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, most welcome. So, I just had the last question. Why did Allah create this world and put us through this test when he had to end it, end the world again? Sister asked another important question. That why did Allah create this world and put us into it? Why? if he has to end it. The answer to this question is given in Surah Dhariyat. Chapter number 15, verse number 15 is given. It says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَى إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ That we have created not but the men and the jinn, but to worship you. This life sister is the test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah khalaq al wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this life sister is the test for the hereafter. Like you asking a teacher, why are you taking examination? In the examination sister, some people pass, some people fail, correct? So if you follow the guidelines of the teacher, you will pass. If you don't follow, you will fail. So the teacher is testing who is worth passing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's mentioned in the Quran, asked, who would like to undergo this test? Allah says in the Quran, we human beings were fools to accept it. The mountains shuddered, we will not accept. We, so Allah says, who would like to undergo this test? Of course, you and I don't remember. Correct? You and I don't remember. On the day of judgment, again we'll remember. So Allah says in the Quran, that the mountains shuddered, we don't we human beings were fools who accepted the challenge. If you pass, if you pass, you become higher than the angels. You know, angels are a creation of Allah who follow everything what Allah says. They have no option. So if they, they have no option, they cannot go against. So what is great? They are following Allah. They are good. So if human beings who have been given the option to go against Allah or follow the commandment of Allah, we have a free will. If we follow the commandment of Allah after being given a free will, then we become higher than the angels. If we don't follow, we go below. So Allah asked us, do you want to undergo the test where all the others are Muslim? The tree is a Muslim, the mountain is a Muslim, that means they are just Muslim. Submit the will to Allah. We human beings, we have a choice. After being given a free will, if you obey the commandment, you become the highest. If you fail, so we were human beings who said we want to undergo the test. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a new creation. Human beings who had a free will of their own. And we were the people who opted. And now, sister, we are undergoing the test. And the, and the guide is the Quran. The instruction manual of the human being is the Quran. When you appear for an examination, there is a textbook, correct? The textbook of the examination is the Quran. And the guide of the Quran is the Sahih Hadith. So sister, we are undergoing a test in this world. Test for the hereafter. And that is the reason we are trying to score high marks. If we, give, we pass, we go to Jannah. 
If we fail, we go to Jannam. That is the reason we say that the minimum thing to come just past marks is to believe in one God and believe Prophet Muhammad is the God. At least you enter. If you enter the school, at least your chances of passing there. And then you may get whether second class, first class distinction, but at least you have to enter, sister. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Yes, definitely. MashaAllah, khalas. So if you believe... <laughs> if you believe that there is one God, and you believe idol worship is wrong, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah, then according to me, you are a Muslim. Sister, would you like to say the Shada? Would you like to say it in Arabic? There are tears of joy, sister. Would you like to enter the fold? According to me, already a Muslim. Would you like to proclaim it? Yes. Yes? MashaAllah. Takbir. I hope no one is forcing you, sister. You are doing it out of your own free will. Yes. And I'm asking you because you said that we have heard my question, you have heard my lecture, so surely you may be having a substantial some knowledge of Islam. Yes, I do. Mashallah, sister. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it, sister. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Have the microphone closed, please. Allah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasulullah. I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God but, Allah, but Allah and I bear witness, and I bear witness that, that, Prophet Muhammad that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. Takbir. 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 Masha'Allah sister, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you Janita Firdos and really you have taken a bold step and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you more and may he help you because I can make out mashallah that you have already gained a lot of knowledge and your questions were very questions of intelligence and mashallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more knowledge of the deen may he help you to guide your parents guide your family members and guide your friend sister Jazakallah shukran sister may Allah reward you mashallah question about this to a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of ideas a lot of more understanding to the Muslim religion. And then I think in the kind of way the Muslim the Muslim religions kind of have some unique thing in them whereby like everything about them is just too unique. Like yeah. Yeah. They are unique. And I love the fact that she came to her own conclusion. Like she she checked out other religion and saw that I found peace and I feel this is the right religion. And she took that big step. Because it's not easy for you to like go against everyone and just it's not even easy for you to even make the research like to start with for you to make the research and actually conclude that islam is the religion you want to follow and so there's a way some people who are not really knowledgeable look at muslims and they look at them like they are following the false religion so like for you to like want to take that step is actually very very bold and i felt she been like she was in tears like she the emotion where they like I I I felt shaky in a bit because like the emotion were like passing through the video to me and I love this. But I think what you think about this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Best.